Hey guys, it's Morker and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm going to do sort of like a vlog style type video. So I want to show you a couple of Goodwill finds I have. It's not going to be your typical um, Goodwill haul video. It's only a couple pieces that I found and it's going to be furniture. So um, a couple weeks ago, I bought uh, furniture. One thing I bought was a desk I'm going to show you here that I put in my office slash studio slash YouTube room or glam room as you can call it. So I felt a nice desk. It was really cheap. I think it was only like five, six dollars. I'm not sure if it's like a Ikea, but it was really, really nice. And that was a really good find. The second piece is I was looking for something to store my little extra pieces like my glasses, my vases, um, those the gallery plates. Um, I just needed storage. So I was looking for credenzas. So I went to Home Goods and I'm gonna show you here why I don't shop Home Goods sometimes. And it's because their pieces was two hundred dollars and when I touched it and felt it, these things are really, really flimsy. So the material that they sell today is sometimes it'll say Bassett, but no. Bassett furniture was always high quality furniture. So I'm not quite sure the brands or where they get their furniture is now, but a lot of it, and be careful when you buy the stuff, guys. I prefer to go to Goodwill, as you see in my previous upcycles, and kind of redo it myself. So I'm looking for storage. I found this hutch that was two piece top and bottom. Um, it was a nice size. Um, I took down the entertainment center and I needed something a few inches like smaller and this was the exact size and look I was going for. Instead of getting the top, I mean the bottom part of the hutch which opened up and I'm gonna show you briefly when I went to Goodwill's, I got the top part of the hutch because I thought it was beautiful because it had like a stained glass or frost glass look to it. So I figured when I looked at home goods and I looked at this you know it still has a credenza look so instead of having a hutch on the top I put it at the bottom I didn't get the bottom part at all and they did let me split it because I took the top part of the hutch because normally Goodwill do not split up their furniture but they could sell the bottom but they couldn't sell the top part alone so that was not a problem so I'm not going to do a die white on this project because I already did one when I did the martini tower even though it's sort of mixed-mac furniture, it, you sort of can't tell because I have this, this cohesive look where it's black, it's bling, and it has light to it. So I have it in a similar fashion, a similar design, so you really can't tell too much that it's two separate pieces. All right, guys, the first thing I'm going to show you is the desk in my studio here and of course you guys hopefully you watched the video of the mini fridge the beverage fridge from new air and i'm gonna show you why i decided to keep it in my studio i actually moved my computer from my bedroom here because i had it on my makeup desk and it was in the way all the time so i figured i need a desk now and let me put my computer back into the studio all right guys i'm gonna show you the desk i got from Goodwill. Then we're going to go into the living room and I'm going to show you briefly my Goodwill haul and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. It's not finished yet. I'm still doing working on it, but I'm going to show you how far I got now and what the um, outcome is going to be at the end. All right, guys, let's get started on this. Let me show you the desk. Okay, so the first piece I have, you've seen the um, fridge here, the mini fridge here for my beverages. And the reason why I end up keeping this in um, my studio here is because I can have my drinks here. I have my pitcher here along with my glass and some Gatorades. And of course here I am housing like all of my water. And also as you can see here some fruit. So if I get hungry I have snacks. So the desk I got here from the Goodwill was this sort of, um, I don't know if it's a chrome metal desk I got. And I thought this piece was really nice. It's very lightweight. It's glass. It looks fairly, fairly, you know, not that it's new, but it was excellent, excellent conditions when I got it here. As you can see, it looks fairly new. All right, guys, so I just decided to put this here, you know, in my room that I have my, you know, my YouTube room. Uh, also, this piece here, I just want to show you real quick. Clothing racks that I sprayed rose gold. And you know this is a 
Goodwill find as well that I spent less than I think four dollars for. I just wanted to show you that briefly because again it is something that you guys can do is again this is all about upcycle and spray painting everything. Okay over here again this is the desk. I got this cute sign here which is called Okay, put your big girl panties and deal with it. Sometimes I need that as a kick in the butt if I'm feeling, oh, woe is me moment. So I thought that was a cute find that I found from the Goodwill for $2.99 and that was 40% off. So guys, I basically wanted to show you just my desk and um, of course my DIY stool I did years ago and I kept my little sexy lounge here. It's not really going to be a tour, but this little area, and I keep my place basically empty and of course you already know this now this i end up moving from here to over here and i still have plenty of space to sit in front of it and do some type of vlogs or some videos in front and i end up using this putting this here instead of my bedroom for now um I saw this in a couple places. Now I'm starting to see these things. I've never seen this before. Now I'm starting to see this as a chandelier in the kitchen hanging up or I seen it as the dome light that it was. Of course, the pocketbook lamp, I haven't DIY'd it yet, but again, I still left this here. And this is like an extra storage. This is what I did with this one here. Remember, I wasn't sure what to do this here and I put a candle in here. And just from flowers. And this is a way to kind of like store things, you know, so it could be kind of decorative, but yet out of the way. My extra apothecary jar, sometimes I'll put these in my living room or, or my dining room. And then I'll put some fruit in there as well. So now I want to show you the DIY that I am doing for this hutch. All right, guys, let's go into the other room. So as I come here into the living room and dining room, okay, and I have replaced this whole system to look like this. Okay, I won't show you too much because you're going to see the mirror of the kitchen and I don't want to show you the kitchen yet. Okay, so I'm going to come though. So this is the final project of this. Now I'm still working on this. So right here are the glass pieces here. So this is the top of it. It doesn't have the cover yet because of course this was the hutch on top. So what I'm going to do here is I paint it on the inside already. And as you can see, I use the same black espresso stain that I did for the martini tower. And these pieces here, I measure them up. This time I'm using some E6000 glue. So this is for the left side, this is for the right side, and I'll put this on this side over here. So this has to be completed. The front is done, and I'll add my little gems to it as well. Okay, so I have to finish along here, and it's going to wrap around over here. Okay, I had to move my thing here. So now what I'm going to do here is get a board going across here. And then I'm going to mirror it, but I don't want the mirror can either go to the edge here or I might have it stopped here to look beveled because this is slightly lifted. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the mirror come here. It actually looks better if it was kind of beveled here instead. Let me give you an example. All right, so I grabbed one of my mirrors so I can either have it going across here flush which looks nice or here where you see the black line. So I haven't decided on this piece. Do I want it here or going flush against that? So the front of it, I put back the glass. I took it out, cleaned it. And you can see here where it looks kind of frosted. I actually, on the gold part that's actually in the store, I didn't want it to be gold. So I took some acetone, this regular nail polish remover from the Dollar Tree, wiped it along, and it got rid of the color of the gold. So, of course, I changed the hinges here. This was the original hardware that went with it, the old style antique, which is really nice, but it wasn't for the look I was going for. 
So I replaced the other hinges with these. These are Home Depot and they are under $5. And this matches all the furniture pieces that I've done, which was where the fireplace was. Also, it matches where the shoe rack is from Ikea. So coming along here, I, I make sure I did this at nighttime so you guys can see it, how it lights up. So I got the lights here from Home Depot and these are LED strips. They come for in the strip and have them hanging here. And I just, you know, staple them over. So I have a strip in the front and a strip in the back. So when you're upright, you really can't see it from this angle. Now, the thing is, the Home Depot actually was more expensive than Amazon. I should have waited and got it from Amazon. So, as you can see, and this is what I'm talking about. When you're talking about old wood, okay, it's not riggedy, it's not moving, it's not shaking. And these snaps here, I had to even take off the bottom ones here because it snaps so tight. See? I didn't need both of them, but I did keep it just in case. Now, I do have to do a glass shelf here that I measure, and I think I'm going to mirror the back of these two, like I did with the Martini Tower. Now, this is here, like I said, I wanted this to hold these little extra glass pieces that I had. I had nowhere to put them, and I didn't want to store these in my cabinets because I didn't want them to brace. I will also use this for my Z-Gallery plate. So this is not like a martini tower to hold glasses. It's more just for extra storage. Now, the bottom of it, since it was a hutch, I could actually put a board at the bottom of this. As you can see how this is, I could actually put a black board here and make this into a design as well. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave it very plain and very simple. So I do like the black background with this, but I think I want to keep it with the mirror. Now also for the hinges here that was old and brown and bronzy, I just spray them silver. And here is just the pieces here, how you put the glass in. So I didn't touch this. I left this the same. This you could feel the texture. So when I use the acetone, it was in the front because the texture of this frosted look is on the inside. But when you close it, the texture of this is on the outside. So that's why I just took a Q-tip and just went around the edges. So guys, this is the look of this credenza, Hutch Turk credenza, this upcycle. And I just want to let you know, I'm really, really loving it. And you know, again, you know, not to keep knocking down home goods, but come on guys, look at the quality of this. It matches this. You can't even tell that it's two different pieces. I kept the same glass going, I kept the same towel going across. And as you can see, they still have the same trim with the lines in it. And you see how it has the mirror in the shelves. And here I put the martini. Uh, remember the martini um, travel set? And I put my candelabra down here. Because I love chrome, glass, and black. I think it just blings everything out. Okay, so again, you can see that it also has the same kind of trim here with the lines going down the black this edges you have this here which matches this here so you know even though they're separate pieces I sort of made it where they look like they're one unified piece you can't tell that they came from different you know pieces So I just want you to see this with the light out. So when you see this piece, I think it's a glam look. Guys, let me know what you think. And over here. Even though it looks like it has a blue light, it's just a white light.
all right guys what do you think let me know all right guys so guys i just want to know what you think so let me know what was your favorite of course it'd probably be the condenser but the desk wasn't bad either and it's something that i needed you know i tried to get goodwill pieces that i'm going to use and need i don't have a lot of um space here just to buy things just to purchase it so everything i get from goodwill has to have a purpose in my small space and also you know um i want to finally do my whole goodwill tour i've been trying to do this since last year but i was still finishing my room my kitchen is one is almost done I have everything set up I did the cornice yes guys I did a cornice for my kitchen and I'm going to do the back splash so it took me a while to find one because Home Depot wanted five to six dollars per sheet I'm like no way because I need about 10 sheets so I did find it at Amazon so they come tomorrow so when I do the backsplash then I would do by the weekend I should have this whole kitchen is done it looks nice the way it is but it needed a little pop of something in the background so I think the backsplash the pick and peel that you know a lot of the youtubers was using that is good for renters and apartments I think that will be nice you can my heart here I got that also from the Goodwill that is close as Valentine as I'm going to get all right guys so I just wanted to show you my um goodwill hauls which is the two pieces of furniture my cute little sign and where i store my other stuff so again let me know if you like the credenza the hutch turn credenza and see also it is a good idea so think about this for yourself instead of spending 200 dollars, that piece was 11 dollars 99 cent the whole set was 30 dollars okay and i told him what i didn't need the whole set so i said would you split it first he said we don't split furniture but since I wanted the top part, he did take it because he knew he could sell the bottom part. So when we split it, that was $14.99 with my 20% off. It ended up costing $11.99. Of course, it cost money to upcycle. I had the stain. I had the glass tiles already. So I had bought the lights. Now, Amazon, I will link that because Amazon lights was way cheaper for $16 than what I paid at Home Depot and um the mirrors i don't have to put mirrors here but i really wanted to match the martini tower so i will put just two sheets of mirror there the mirror on top and a glass shelf after that it'll be completely done all right guys it's your more girl i just wanted to show you my goodwill finds what i was doing and i will see you hopefully this weekend with the kitchen tour black and gold all right guys it's more girl and i will see you soon all right guys bye it's more girl